Selection Sunday. It's semi-final number one of the Conference USA Tournament in Memphis, Tennessee with the Houston Cougars against the nation's third-ranked team, the mighty Memphis Tigers. In the CUSA Tournament, it's Houston winning in the first round over SMU, beating the four-seed UTEP. Memphis survives a bit of a scare from the eight seed Tulane to once again reach the Conference USA semifinals. Welcome to Memphis. I'm Carter Blackburn with Pete Gillen, and these Tigers Keep on rolling, 23 straight wins, 59 straight over conference competition, and beat this year, they're doing it with defense. Memphis played great defense last year, but they're playing even better this year because they're long and they're more athletic, and they have Tyreek Evans, who's an outstanding defensive player. They block shots, they got great hands, they flick the ball away, they come at you in waves and waves. They're a wrecking machine. They came after you time after time. They steal the ball, their great defense gets their offense going. Yesterday versus Tulane, they held the wave 13 minutes without a point. Look at the national numbers. Number one in field goal percentage defense, top 15 in just about all of the major categories. But they will be tested today by Houston, Conference USA's top scoring team and one of the best scorers in the league in Aubrey Coleman. Aubrey Coleman scored 35 points right here against Memphis last time they played here. He's a great offensive player. He's a terrific driver. He's outstanding on the fast break. He's a terrific rebounder. He's got to have a great game today for Houston to upset this great Memphis team. 21 wins for Coleman and the Cougars. Can they put an end to the incredible Memphis winning streaks today? This is Chance. He was a legendary heckler. Now he's teaching future generations how to free their minds for an awesome heckler. Rules, people, to the perfect, lawless heckle. Rule number one, be prepared. Come on, game face, let me see it. See Chance Heckle his way to victory at cbs.com slash heckle you. Presented by Head & Shoulders. Genius. Absolutely genius. Okay, brain, think fast. What's the girl's name who's always putting stuff on our desk? Come on, it's like a flower or a boat. Brain, I need you. Quick, capital of Moscow, Russia. Nice recovery. 1492, Columbus did the ocean blue. Mom's birthday is May 4th. Karate is from Japan. Brazilian jiu-jitsu is from, well, Brazil. Susan! Way to go, brain. Head & Shoulders gives you awesome, flakeless hair you don't have to think about, leaving your mind free to wander. Head & Shoulders. Respect the scalp. Get the hair. Um, do you two want to sit together? No, that's just the money I could be saving with Geico. Tell me more Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. It's the money you could be saving with Geico. You were made for each other. You like money. He likes money. Well, he is money. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. College basketball on CBS College Sports is brought to you by Geico, where 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by Head & Shoulders, respect the scalp, get the hair. Memphis has not been beaten since December 20th. They will go for their 24th straight win against the Houston Cougars, the five seed in the Conference USA Tournament. Starting lineup for Tom Penders in his fifth season as the Houston head coach, his 35th overall as a collegiate head coach. And his starting lineup brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Three-guard lineup with Zamal Nixon, Aubrey Coleman, and Kelvin Lewis, the junior from Fort Worth. Along with Karan Calhoun and Marcus Kuzan from Baltimore in the front court. For the Memphis Tigers, three-guard lineup with the freshman point guard Tyreek Evans, joined by Antonio Anderson and Donnell Mack in the front court. With Robert Dozier and Sean Taggart scoring more of late. For John Calipari's Memphis Tigers, now in his ninth season as Memphis head coach, his 17th as a collegiate head coach. The officials for today's game, Steve Olson. Terry Moore and Duke Edsel. Today's game is coming to you in crystal clear high definition right here on CBS College Sports. Carter Blackman with Pete Gillen, our CBS College Sports crew from FedEx Forum in Memphis, Tennessee. Obviously, Houston is the underdog considering Memphis hasn't lost a league game since 2006. Pete, what does Houston have to do to stay in this game with Memphis? They have to shorten the game number one. Play a lot of zone and hope that Memphis is 
four from three-point land. Like yesterday, as you know, they were one for 13, so they got to pack it in to cut down the penetration of Memphis. Memphis is unbelievable off the dribble. So play a lot of zones, shorten the game, and Aubrey Coleman's got to step up, Calhoun's got to step up, and Lewis. Those three guys got to have monster games. And already Tom Pender sending out the six foot one guard, Jamal Nixon, for the opening tip, essentially conceding it to the Memphis Tigers so that they can get back and set up in the zone. Hands up, Harry. Back in the zone, but down to penetration. Run out opportunity for Aubrey Coleman, the junior from Houston, finishes 2 nothing start for the Cougars. Perfect start for the Cougars. Back in the zone, cut down to penetration, because that's what Memphis does best is drive and attack the 10. Better start for Houston than the first time they played Memphis here at FedEx Court when it was a 15-0 start for Memphis, and yet Houston was able to come back and actually lead that game by a point in the second half. Came back, Tom Pennis pointed that out to us. Hey, we came back in the second half and took the lead temporarily. Houston stays in their zone. They're really going to pack it in, cut down the penetration. Tyreek Evans tries the three and misses. Dozier has the rebound yanked away by Aubrey Coleman. One for 14 now. Tigers are tight to three-point land right now. We're knocking them down. John Calipari saying about yesterday, scared from two lanes. the game by five minutes into the second half. He said, if that's who we are, then this ride is going in short. Evans dumps it to Sean Tiger for the dunk. Unbelievable on the fast break. Tyreek Evans he just gets to the 10. He changes direction. He's a wrecking machine with the basketball. Samal Nixon, the sophomore point guard from Brooklyn, who's had double-digit scoring games in the first two games of the CUSA tournament. And Houston brings it up. Aubrey Coleman gets the touch behind the screen from Perron Calhoun. He's off on the three. Evans pushes the Tigers, takes it, and one. He's unbelievable. He just goes right to the rim. He's so strong. He takes the defender with him. He's amazing in the open court. Attack the basket. It's right between two guys. He's so strong. Kissing it off the glass. When you go into the glass, use the glass. Tyreek Evans finishes everything. Buick Pontiac GMC dealer wants you to know when it comes to efficient performance. Facts are facts. The 361 horsepower G8 GT beats BMW 550i 0 to 60 and still offers better highway fuel economy. G6 offers 33 highway MPG and beats Honda Accord. Last month, thousands took advantage of great financing. Now get 0% APR for 60 months or 3,000 total cash back on the 2009 Pontiac G8. Find a dealer at bpgdealers.com. Tyreek Evans began the year as the two guard, the shooting guard in the Memphis offense. John Calipari joking about, boy, the guy who had him at the off guard position wasn't a very good coach. He went six and three. Since he's taken over the point guard role, Memphis undefeated. They're a lot more comfortable in their offense. All the other teammates feel better about it because they know he's got the ball because he can make a play. He can get into the lane, create. Defense comes around him and he kicks it to his teammates for open shots. Misses that free throw to Dozier there for the rebound and a second chance for Memphis. Tigers are better shooting free throws at 69% this year. Obviously, the infamous free throw performance last season. Brutal last year. 61%, so much better. Robert Dozier. At the high post, the kick to his fellow senior Antonio Anderson who airballs it. That's mental with him. He can make that shot call, right? Mental right now. He's, he's pressing a little bit. Over two from behind the arc to start the Memphis. Zabel Nixon setting up Houston in the half court. Gets a screen from Marcus. Comes on and tries a deep three. Long rebound. Nixon saves it to Aubrey Coleman. Long shots, usually long rebounds, especially on his tight NBA rim. Marcus comes on. NBA rim doesn't get the roll. This is also the home of the Memphis Grizzlies. Anderson throws that one away. Sean Taggart. Antonio Anderson doesn't want to shoot right now. He's pressing a little bit. He only had two points yesterday. Carter, as you know, he's got to relax now and just play. What do we see defensively here from Memphis? We'll court man to man traps. Dozier's good at attacking. They want to speed it up. More possessions. Advantage for the Tigers because they're deeper, more talented, and more athletic. Kick out from Coleman for Kelvin Lewis who misses the three. These teams are combined over six from behind the arc to start. 
Well, if Houston gets their defense set, they got a chance to win this game. Dozier in the corner. Got the three. First main three for either side comes from the senior from Georgia, Robert Dozier. Dozier and Taggart have really improved these last two or three weeks. I think they see the light at the end of the tunnel. Dozier, the senior, wants to play next year in the NBA. And, and Taggart, once again, good graduate. He's a fourth year junior, so these guys have stepped up their game. How key are those bigger players for Memphis in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, they're so key. They're great guards, Tigers, but the big guys are the difference. Perron Calhoun steps out and misses the three, so Houston over five from behind the arc. A 7 0 run. Tyreek Evans runs it. A little too much. He traveled. Evans is famous for their dribble drive motion offense. They get into the paint. Great penetration. He kick it. The Doge is ready, set. He had a week to shoot it. Bottom. Marcus Cousin has to get out a little bit quicker, doesn't he? Chilling out a little bit. He's got to get out there when the forward takes the wing. A big key to beat the zone is take the back guys at the zone play on the wings, come out, foul line extended. If you do that, you can have great opportunities on the baseline. That's what happened then. Houston kicks it out of bounds and turns it over themselves as Robert Sally checks into the game for Tyreek Evans, first sub for Memphis. This is Robert Sally for three. He's a three-point shooter, so if he gets going, he can really open up this zone, make it extend even further out, and then they can go back to the two penetration. Coleman, the driving dish for Calhoun long two. Giant basket that time. That ends a 7 0 Memphis run. We keep on his nose his third game in three days now. How long will your legs take? You need your legs to shoot those three point bombs. It was an overtime game last night against Utah, so maybe not as tired as Johnny Clark. Syracuse Orange are today, but legs are not so pressed. Three different moves take 24 minutes in that overtime game. Donnell Mack for three. Donnell Mack is a streaky shooter, but he can get hot. He can get hot. He can make three or four of those three-point bombs and a half, so exactly right. Very streaky. Just the second meet three for Memphis. Houston is over five from behind the arc. Paul Nixon dumps it off the Coleman. Swap by Dozier. Anderson, the outlet to Mack. Foul on the way to the rim. No bucket there as Mack gets fouled. Great defense. Great job. Penetrate inside. Donald Mack loves to knock it down, and he does. Oh, and this one is tied up. Time up, Boston. <laughs> Man, I wish this game would never end. Hey, send it into overtime. Yeah. No problem. It's the pass up to Hampton for the win. Oh, he loses control. Buffalo Wild Wings, you have to be here. Oh my! Here at DirecTV, we continue to offer the best television experience possible, including DirecTV Mix Channels, which let you get more out of your TV at no extra charge. Give them a try. Tune to channel 102 and stay on top of breaking stories with News Mix. If you're a sports fan, you get your own Mix Channel, and you'll get enhanced coverage of major tournaments throughout the year. Just a few examples of how we're making your TV experience unlike any other. All compliments of DirecTV. If you've got an ATV or even a lawn tractor with overgrown land to clear, the new Tow Behind DR Fielded Brush Mower can do that heavy duty mowing while you ride. The DR can be offset left or right, so you drive in the clear while the DR chops thick, waist high grass, even saplings up to one and a half inches thick. Call 1-800-716-5171 for your free catalog and DVD all about the amazing DR Field and Brush Mower. Online at drfieldbrush.com. There are 380,000 NCAA student athletes. And most of us and most will, of go, us pro. will go pro in something, in something other, other than, than sports. sports. In something other than sports. To learn more, go to NCAA.org. 10 4 start for Memphis. The Tigers' defense on display early. Robert Doja, a great defender. Here we see now they penetrate into the middle. Guy drives. Doja's a man on the spot. He comes in and helps out. 
you see now he stops here. All right, they kick it, he still recovers. They pass it, he turns around, great block, he gets their offense going, great defense, leads to excellent offense. They come out in transition, attack the basket, foul. Great defense, that's why they hold teams to 37% more. Great job by Robert Dozier. Now, Robert Dozier is six foot nine, but his wingspan is seven feet three inches. What kind of a defensive matchup does Robert Dozier present to the teams they play? He's a nightmare. He's so long, he's so quick. Long arms, athletic. And this Memphis team knows they have to play great defense to be a great team. Because they lost their three best guys from last year, Joey Dorsey, by Derek Rose, and Chris Douglas. Dozier and the rest of the Tigers cannot wait to get the NCAA tournament. They're very aware of the critics who say Memphis isn't that good. They're ranked too high. They don't deserve a one seed or a two seed. They are very anxious to try and prove themselves in the NCAA tournament. Well, we've seen this team a lot, and they're a great team. They got a chance to go to the Final Four. Once again, they got to be on their A game, but they're a, a tremendous defensive team. They're stifling. Jump ball there, possession arrow keeps it with Houston. Trouble getting it in. Guess who creating the defense? is Lewis passes to Kuzon and gets fouled by Sean Taggart. Nice job by Houston. You have to, to press the score. You can't play tentative against him. Good job on an inbounder. Calhoun throws it deep, throws a touchdown. One bounce, nice tip pass. Kuzon goes to the rim, two free throws. Foul called on Donnell Mack, his first. So Marcus Kuzon, now he, he has been a, a big scorer for Houston this year. He's a better rebounder. He's averaging 11 points in two regular season games against Memphis. Only one made basket, one for 11 shooting against those big Memphis defenders. He sees those two big white flags. Tiger and Bozier, those white uniforms, and yeah, it gets him a little bit nervous. He's had a very good year. Transfer from Seton Hall, but these two big guys inside get him a little bit uh, tentative. Somebody must have stepped out. You certainly can run. You must have stepped on the line. Now, this is off of a made basket where you can run the baseline. Now, Tyreek Evans may have stepped on the baseline. Yeah, sure enough. Yep. Exactly. It's exactly what Steve Olsen says. He went under the baseline and stepped across. So it's Houston Ball. Let's see if the Cougars can capitalize. Kelvin Lewis. This is the floor. Lewis Calhoun at home have to have a monster game. Here they got a steal there instead of Wesley Witherspoon for a long two. Taggart gets the steal. Sean Taggart over Kuzon, finishes his own miss. A 17 to 8 start for Memphis. Taggart's been playing terrific. Long arms, terrific defense led to a, a layup. You're used to, you got to get your composure now. Take your time. Try to get your best player going. Or big home. Get him a shot. So Walt Nixon sets up the half-court offense. And no surprise with Coleman popping out on the wing. Antonio Anderson there to deny him the pass. So the screen comes on. Nixon to the elbow. Set to shoot down. Peron Calhoun for three. Houston still hasn't made a good point shot. Evans stripped by Nixon and a foul somewhere in there. It is on Tyreek Evans. 
Great defense here by Taggart. Nice steal. Right. The steal is a big guy. Really, really tall. And he, now he attacks the basket. Great steal. Taggart goes in, misses it, and he follows up his own miss with a tap. Houston had trouble getting it in bounds, so Tom Penders is going to take a 30-second timeout. And it's Zamol Nixon who gets the ire of the head coach when he comes back to the Houston bench. The Houston Cougars 0 for 6 from three point. They're shooting just 23% in the early going, and that's the biggest reason why they're down 17 to 8. Yeah, they're struggling offensively, and they gotta, when they have chances like that four on one break call you mentioned before, they gotta finish that. They gotta do that. So keep their composure. Down nine, it's two by two. Zones are pretty effective, it's just that they're turning the ball over. Houston usually only has 10 turnovers a game. Second in the country and taking care of the basketball. So uh, a third in the country. So they, they gotta take care of the ball. Can't we have the turnover. We sat down with Tom Penders last night. I thought you were gonna fall out of your chair when he said, I think we may play some zone tomorrow. He is not a zone coach. But he's smart enough now. His third game in three days. He has to play some zone to protect his guys because Memphis does a great job of dribble penetration and attacking the room. Again, they've not hit a three. So Houston down 17-8. This is the top score in TV Conference USA. They average 78 a game. A lot of long shots, the long rebounds, and run outs for the Tigers. So into the post for Kuzon. They double the post with Livingston coming over to knock it away from Marcus Kuzon. And these guys double now. You got 6'8, 6'9 guys with long arms doubling. A big difference than a guy, say, from a rice team that might have smaller players. And that's a guard, Wesley Witherspoon. He played point for Memphis earlier this year. 6'8", coming to double the post. Back right there. Shot clock down to seven, to six. Aubrey Coleman, deep three. Air balls. Kuzon tries to save it, throws it right to John Roper. He's struggling now. He's hunting shots. Ed Coleman now with a good defender. Antonio Anderson, a bet defender. All right, right in his face, air ball. Got to take good shots. I know the shot clock was going down, Carl, but they got to get a better shot than that. He's roughly a 23% three-point shooter. That is not Aubrey Coleman's shot. He's Achilles heel. Does everything else well, but perimeter shooting is a little shape. Taggart over the zone. Rebound from Witherspoon. A stick for the freshman from Atlanta. An 11 point lead for Memphis, seeking their 24th straight win of the year and 60th straight against Conference USA competition. Who's on? Needs help from his sophomore point guard, Jamal Nixon. Can't pick up the dribble against Memphis because they play the lanes and they get steals that way. Five to shoot. Nixon has it tipped away by Evans. He turns it over. The defense is unbelievable. Long arms, tag it. Nice follow by Witherspoon. Good finish. So you've won your first big tournament. Now what? Stock up for the next one. It's the final days of the Bass Pro Shop Spring Fishing Classic, our biggest sale of the year. Don't miss these one-day only specials. Thursday, save 65% on Cordell Super Spots. And Friday, the XPS Dual Purpose 150 battery is only $69.94. Your total comes to $123.52. things in your world. Spend some time in ours. Itchy dry scalp? Could be your shampoo. Finally, there's a new Selsun Blue just for itchy dry scalp. Strong itch fighters plus five hydrating moisturizers. Stop the itch and leave hair healthy. No more itch. New Selsun Blue itchy dry scalp. Got a clue? 
get the blue. You're watching the CBS College Sports Network, the new pulse of college sports. The third ranked team in the country, Memphis, off to an 11 point lead against the Houston Cougars. Coming up on AT&T at the half, we'll look at the coaches, all America basketball team finalists, as selected by the National Association of Basketball Coaches. Memphis number three in the nation. They are number one in field goal percentage defense, holding opponents to 37%. That is best in the country. And well, Pete, we've been watching this Memphis team practice and play for several months now, and the message from John Calipari months ago was toughness, toughness, defense. We want to be a tough team to play against, and here it is March. And at least through the first eight plus minutes against Houston, you're seeing that kind of toughness. Definitely. Gets him to play hard. He keeps pounding. They listen to him. Takes a while sometimes to set in, but they listen to him. Houston has six turnovers already. Evans misses the three. A rebound to Deshaun Williams. What a great three point shoot. Desmond Wade is in the run. Of one down in Westbrook, one New Jersey. Is top ten in the game. The sophomore's all next. Here's Deshaun Williams, the senior from Chicago, Julian, a transfer from the Rose College, gives it back out to Desmond Wade. Ten to shoot for the Cougars. No easy looks against this Memphis defense. Wade turns it corner. Misses over Tyree Gavin to the middle there for the ball. Tyreek Evans named the sport news national freshman of the year and also a world league finalist this week. Setting Memphis up in the half court on the screen from Anderson. Witherspoon from the baseline. Wesley Witherspoon with a solid start for Memphis. He is three for three from the floor, six points to go along with a couple of rebounds. He wants some playing time now. He's a talented player. This is Coach Cal. Look at me now. He's a little burn. Wade in a size mismatch against Tyree Gavin. Six, six, two, 19. Nick Mosley misses the long two. Taggart the board. Memphis on the run again. Williams pokes it away. But John Calabria astutely says, yeah, he's the the Tigers 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 let's go back to this four-on-one chance for Houston. Back. Houston's got to convert now. Four-on-one. Jamal Nixon goes in, can't finish. That's two they didn't get. Tigers get out, blow it up the court. Then Al Mack with a finish. Four-point swing. Two to Cougars didn't get, and two to Tigers finish. No coincidence, Jamal Nixon is not in the game right now for the Houston Cougars. It's Desmond Wade in to run the point, even though he's much smaller, giving up about five inches to Jamal Nixon. Dozier over Mosley. Nice, no contest. Screen the zone. Nice little eight footer for Dozier. Excellent pass. Houston started this game 2 0. So since that point, Memphis has outscored the Cougars 23 to 6. Do a great job screening the zone here. Nice screen in the zone, the middle of the zone. Dozier gets a turn. Little eight footer. Bottom. Dozier this week named the second team all time. USA team, the senior with Antonio Anderson and the walk-on chance for Brady. He's become the winningest senior class in NCAA history. Memphis forces another turnover by the Houston Cougars. In the game for Houston, number zero, Calvin Lewis, number 12, Aubrey Coleman, number 41, Teron Calhoun. Well, now Tom Penders is going to make a, a line change, attempting to find some kind of a five that's going to work against the Tigers. He's frustrated, the team's frustrated. Once again, third game in three days. Playing a team like this is juggernaut. Big challenge. He goes back to his starting five with Nixon and Coleman at the top of his 2 3 zone. The Robert, same play. Yeah, Robert Sally in the corner feed with an air ball. Right? In the same play, at the time they kicked it out to Sally, as you said, rushed it a little bit. Houston still hasn't hit a three. They played an overtime game in the last of four quarter finals. So, they left the building about 11 p.m. last night. Of course, there are two days left to go in the Bass Pro Shops countdown to Selection Sunday. Coming up in about 48.